Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Woodworking with Dash and today we're going to make this chaotic lid jewelry box with a burgundy interior and a band of chaos going all the way around the box. This box pops guys, this box really does pop, so come and join me right now. It's time to use all my off cuts that I've got and I've got a heap of them, so I'm going to make a chaotic lid jewelry box. That means I've got to cramp the off cuts up at least three times, maybe four. I'll work it out. So the first trick is to, is to get all my off cuts into a uh, pattern that I like and just cramp them up and we'll see what happens. Just sawing down all the off cuts now to about 22 mil. Just use all the different species that I've got. Use ash and jarra and a bit of wenge. And a whole every different species. There it goes, through the saw. I've got enough timber for two panels because I've got no idea how I'm going to work all this yet so I'll, I'll make two panels and we'll see how we go. Next step is to plane some of the thicker ones down to 22mm uh, so I can glue them all together and then I'll, I'll do the first glue up and we'll take it from there. Okay, just putting them through the thickness of now down to 22mm, the thicker ones. The thickness that works great, as I said before. And gluing them up now, doing the first glue up. As I've taken the panel out of the cramps, I've trimmed them up now on the saw, cut, cut the ends off a bit, and uh, I've made them a bit wide, so I have to cut them down again so they fit for the planer. So instead of having two panels, I'm now going to have three panels. Just trimming up all the ends now, just screwing, screwing them off. You can see all the different species there. And ripping it down now on the saw so I fit through the planer. And doing the housework. Everybody's got to do the housework every now and again. And this is mine. That drum gets filled up so bloody often. I don't know. Maybe I work too hard. And putting it through the thickness of now. They look like bread borders, don't they? I suppose you could use them as bread boards. There it goes. And then cutting them down again to 22 mil again. And you see the pencil marks on the piece? That way I know where to turn it. I know how to turn them. So the pencil marks are the ones that I blew. There you go, just gluing them all up now. Using, using the old cramps again, I find them so much better than the new ones. I don't know, for me they're so much easier to work. And they're better too, I think. And just putting a cramp on top. Tighten them up. And now cutting them sideways. Remember to keep them in order then. Cut them to about 20 mil sideways and doing the last of them now. And did I turn it? You gotta turn every second one. Or did I did not turn it. I think I turned it. I'm not sure. Did I turn it? I'm getting old. Anyway, I worked it out in the end. Now it's glue up time. There you go and Putting another cramp on top. And getting a bit of beach from my timber shed. I got a heap of timber in there which I love. And just roughly docking it to size now. I've got the chaotic panel finished in the cramps there, just waiting for that to dry. I've cut some beech timber, a very neutral sort of cutter of the beech, sort of a pinky sort of cutter, and I've slabbed this up now and dressed it all up, ready to make the surround of the box. Putting it over the uh, buzzer now, 
cuticle head and the bother and doing an edge. I'll get all this round out of that piece and further thicken through it goes. Look at the colour of that guys. And over to the bandsaw to uh, rip it down now. And through the thickness of the dress it all up. I've taken the sides out of the cramps. Look at that. Come out great, didn't it? With the uh, band of uh, chaos, I call it. And there's the, the, big, the big chaos pattern, the centre of the panel. Now I'll, I'm going to put all of these through the sander now. And I'll sand them all down first. And then uh, we'll make the box like we normally make it. And I'll put the surrounds around the top. We'll take it from there. Yay! I tried putting it through the thickness there to see how it turned out. It turned out great. I thought it might have blown out the uh, end grain, but it didn't. I was quite impressed. I put it for the sander just to finish it off. And cutting the miters now. And cutting them to length. And using the masking tape method, you can see the uh, chaos pattern coming all the way through the box. And gluing it up. And putting it together like normal. Put the bottom in first. And roll everything up. Such a good method to put a box together, isn't it? Tape it up and I'll put a couple of cramps on it. There you go. Right, I've taken the box out of the cramps. Come out great, didn't it? With this um, chaos line going all the way around the box. Looks really good, looks really nice. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, the next trick is that we'll, um, we'll cut the tray now and we'll do that out of Occam, which is a, a similar cut it to the beach, except that I cheaper, and uh, then, then we'll work on the top. we we'll do that now. Cool. Just putting the tray together with the uh, pin gun. Very easy with the pin gun. And cutting the centre panel now, just straightening an edge, moving it over to the fence, and ribbing it to size. There you go. And docking it now. We've got the box all out of the cramps and all um, assembled. I've cut the tray and inserted that. They come on good, didn't it? Look at that. Now I've, I've also cut the cut the centre panel. They come up magnificent. Look at that. And I've, I've done all the surrounds, so the next trick is to mitre the surrounds and glue them onto the centre panel. Yay! I put the centre panel through the sand, I could not put that through the thickness that it would have blown out. But yeah, it's just sanding it up alright, comes up great. And cutting the mitres now. And just gluing them on, gluing, them, gluing on the two long one, long one first. I use my saw bench with the very flat, so it keeps everything flat. And then doing the end, the end ones now. You can never have too many cramps, guys, as you know. And sanding it down through the thickness of now, through the, through the sand, I mean. I had to do this uh, about, about 10 times to get it down. That came out good. And over to the saw, 
and cut the 15 degree angle on the top now. You've got a jig to do that, so I cramp it down. You can't hold that. You cramp it down. And just keep rotating it. And go fairly quick so it doesn't burn. And taking it over to the box now to have a first look at the angle on the lid. There it goes. Looks great. And spraying it up now. Look at that centre panel. Look at that red in the centre panel come up. Great, isn't it? And spraying the rest of the box up. Hey guys, we're all finished. A chaotic lead jewelry box. Look at that. With the burgundy interior. Come up great, didn't it guys? Come up really good. The beach timber, very neutral and it sets it off quite well, doesn't it? With its uh, chaos stripe going all the way around the box. It's another one of my boxes that, I'm going to say the word in a minute, haven't said it yet. Another one of my boxes that just Really pops. There, there, I said it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please join me again in the next video where I will be making another box. Yay!